Hello and welcome to Dynamic Seas TV's technical blog. Today what we're going to be looking at is how you would configure a basic intercom system. Um, so what this will consist of is just a single outdoor station called the single indoor station. What you'll need to set it up is a laptop with the latest version of IBMS on, which currently is version 3.1.1.9. Um, so on the software as you can see, if we go into device management, we click on online device that's obviously shown us at both of our units there so we can just tick there and do activate if so if we just give it a password and then just press OK so both those units are activated now so if we just click on that one and now on the right hand side here obviously you can see modify net info so we just need to give both the units an IP address so we'll do 40 for this one And then again, if you just put in your password, to so it'll take the changes. So that's that one done. So now if we do the outside unit, so again, just give it an IP address. And just put in the gateway. And finally, just again, the password. So that's both the units. I've got an IP address now. So if we just add the outside unit to the software first, and we'll call that outdoor unit. And if you put in your password, press add. So that one's added. So if we do the same with the indoor station. And again, just password. So that's that there. So now what we do, first of all, if we remote config onto the outside unit by just clicking the little settings icon there, if we go into intercom, ID configuration, all this can just be left blank, unless of course you set up a slave, but obviously we're going to look at that a bit further down the line. What we need to look at here is just dial, so if we put in a room number there of 101, if we save that, that's pretty much everything we need to do on that for now. So if we now go onto the indoor unit, Again, remote config, we go into intercom, ID configuration, and again, we just put in that same room number there. The room number itself can be anything, um, it's just obviously this is what we're using just for the test purpose. So if we press save on that, and then if we go into network, link network, and now what we need to do is put in the IP address of the outside unit itself, so 168.200, and it was on 41. So if we now just save that, and now what we should be able to do is when we press the call button on the outside unit that should obviously just start ringing so if we'll try that now yeah so that's basically um, what you would use and how you would set up um, a single outdoor call a single indoor um, what we'll look at obviously in the next video would be um, obviously calling additional indoor stations um, additional outdoor stations how to set up obviously keypads and stuff like that um, but yeah obviously thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one